These are the most aggressive animals in the world. Hyenas. Hyenas must be the most unscrupulous killers on the planet. They will eat their own pack members, cubs will fight their own siblings, and there is no urgency to kill their prey. Once disabled, they begin devouring and eating them alive. Despite often being thought of as scavengers, they have no need to feed on the scraps. 95% of their own diet comes from their own kills. They can easily kill and eat predators, including baby lions and leopards. They are highly intelligent with wily problem-solving abilities. They've been studied and found to be more intelligent than chimpanzees. They are also able to assemble incredible group cooperation and coordination without any sound or outward communication signals that scientists have discovered. They can form packs of up to 80 hyenas and conduct highly organized hunts. They can thrive in a vast number of environments, from savanna to forest, desert to mountain terrain or riverine bush. They are a dangerous predator and an aggressive competitor in any environment it is found. Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet can fly 25 miles an hour and faster when flying in a swarm. Think of a massive death squad of giant hornets with wingspans bigger than a hummingbird heading straight for you. Their stings contain lethal venom, far more potent than any other wasp or hornet. The venom contains cytolytic peptides that will tear apart cell tissue at a molecular level. The venom targets the nervous system, causing irreparable damage. So what corner of the earth do they terrorize? Well, anywhere in Japan you could receive a death blow from its quarter-inch long stinger. They're really aggressive if provoked, so beware if you see the flying death squad coming for you. Hey everyone, it's Alexa. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Leopard Seal Leopard seals are sitting pretty in the Antarctic. As long as they manage to avoid killer whales, they can reach the ripe old age of 26. This is incredibly old for a mammal, especially one living in a harsh environment like the Antarctic. 45% of their diet consists of krill, the tiniest of organisms in the sea, which they filter through their specially adapted teeth. But they are non-discriminate feeders who are known to enjoy fish, a variety of penguins, and even cephalopods. They will prey on their own families like the crab-eater seal, weddell seal, and Antarctic fur seal. They have also been dangerous to humans, with several attacks on people that got too close to this vicious killer. While studying leopard seals for the British Antarctic Survey, a marine biologist was dragged 200 feet below the ocean's surface by a leopard seal. They're known to be incredibly aggressive, and there is very little that they won't eat if they happen to come upon it. Cassowary Don't mess with a cassowary. It has talons strong enough to disembowel a human. They wander onto public beaches and into people's homes in search of food, and if you don't offer up a meal, they will attack. They charge kicking forward, knocking over their victims and then pecking or kicking further. Another tactic is to barge straight into you and headbutt. It's once you're on the ground that the cassowary can cause the most injuries. Moral of the story, don't get on the wrong side of this angry bird. Cats. We've all come short the moment a cat forgets it's just a game and unsheathes its nails or clamps its sharp teeth around your hand. But that's not the kind of aggression we're referring to here. A common house cat is actually a killing machine, and if you're not convinced, let the numbers do the talking. In the United States alone, domestic cats are responsible for 2.5 million bird deaths. And when it comes to mammals like mice, squirrels, shrews, and chipmunks, they take out a further 12.3 million a year. Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider is listed as the most poisonous spider in the world packing a bite loaded with the most potent neurotoxic venom. What makes this scarier is that they aren't afraid of humans and are highly territorial. When disturbed, the Brazilian wandering spider becomes aggressive. You'll find them lurking in banana groves, plants, and old boxes by day. At night, these nocturnal arachnids come out to play. They become highly active, seeking prey to catch in their asymmetrical web or hunting soft-bodied insects. Thankfully, for us, the Brazilian wandering spider doesn't inject a full dose of its potent venom every time they bite, but only around 40% of the time. But even a venomless bite from this spider is extremely painful. Champawat Tiger In the late 19th century, a Bengal tiger emerged in the western Nepalese section of the Himalayas with an appetite for humans. 
not a small appetite, an insatiable appetite that consumed 436 people in her lifetime. The female tiger became known as the Champawat Tiger, named after a village she terrorized, although she claimed victims all over the region. She covered a massive territory hunting human victims. The kinds of distances covered are unusual for Bengals and reflect more the habits of a Siberian tiger. In a day, she would migrate as far as 20 miles. Locals were paralyzed with fear and unable to undertake daily tasks in visits to the jungle to access resources needed for survival. Finally, a British hunter, Jim Corbett, managed to take down the man-eating tiger. The Leopard Leopards are made for the kill. They're stronger, faster, and more agile climbers than most other animals in their environments. What makes them even more of a threat to humans and domestic animals is their loss of habitat, which is driving these dangerous cats closer to humans. In Africa and India, the pressure of habitat loss is driving leopards into urban environments, and these clashes often end in tragedy. In India, leopards prey on dogs, pigs, goats, and domestic livestock. There has also been leopard-on-human clashes when leopards have wandered into built-up areas in search of food and then encountered humans. Another big cat terrorized Indian villages and claimed 125 human lives over eight years. Jim Corbett to the rescue again. He managed to track down and kill the leopard before it claimed any more victims. Elephant African elephants, specifically young males and older bulls, don't need to be provoked to show their nasty side. Far from ear-flapping flying cartoons, the reality of a 12,000-pound land mammal is far from family-friendly. Elephants are under threat from poachers and canned hunting operations, and it is under these stressful environments that they feel threatened and retaliate. Habitat loss due to farming also reduces natural food sources for elephants, who in turn raid farms for food. The average elephant needs around 950 pounds of food per day. When they clash with humans, there can be deadly consequences. Attacks by elephants are usually trampling their victims to death. So if you come upon a herd of elephants, be sure to watch you don't harm them. Because after all, an elephant never forgets. Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes gave the Tasmanian Devil a chaotic and aggressive but still comical persona when it introduced us to the mad bundle of energy that was Taz. Are these devils really always ready to pounce the fight? The truth is that right from conception, their life is a fight. The mating ritual starts with males viciously fighting over a female. The next 21 days, the male spends aggressively defending his mate until she gives birth. Then the baby's fight for survival begins, with up to 50 babies having to fight for access to their mother. As soon as they are on solids, they join the fray of scavenging carcasses for a meal. The competition is high, and the devils fight over their food, making blood-curdling screeches and nipping at each other. Lots of animals fight over food and mates, but what sets the Tasmanian devil apart is the strength of its bite. These critters have the strongest bite of any living mammal. Their relatively large heads and powerful jaw muscles are what give them this force that is strong enough to crunch right through bone. Gorillas Gorillas won't attack unless provoked, but if they do, you will wish you were somewhere else. If a gorilla is made to feel uneasy, it will go into defense mode. They're triggered by threats to themselves or to their family, and also, they don't like being taken by surprise. A male silverback under threat, for example, will make bluff charges at its challenger and beat at its chest. If you haven't already headed for the hills, you might also witness him making aggressive barking sounds and continuing to run at his target, stopping a few feet before contact. If you are frozen on the spot, you're in luck, as the best defense is to crouch down to appear small and look away from the gorilla and, you know, act casual. We get that none of this will be an easy reaction given the circumstances, but the less threatening you can act, the easier you can de-escalate the situation. Which animal do you think would win in a head-to-head -head battle? A gorilla or a brown bear? Make your arguments down below after listening to number one. One, brown bears. No animal is more feared on terra firma in the USA than the brown bear, also referred to as the grizzly bear. They are known to be highly aggressive and attack humans out of territorial defense, more than in search of an easy meal. But that's still not very reassuring 
given that they cover such a vast territory, including the Northwest US, Northwest Canada, Alaska, and even Northern Russia. But what would happen if a gorilla and a brown bear clashed? On paper, the bear has the advantage of weight, size, and claws, but gorilla would certainly be a worthy opponent given its strength, aggression, and better agility compared to the lumbering bear. So the fight certainly wouldn't be a one-hit wonder, as when both fighters bear teeth, it would be a tough match. Eventually, the bear probably has more clout behind its paws and one big blow, and the gorilla could be brought down. But it's not a fight I'd like to see anyway.